What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Droning video number two. So you just got your drone. You got the batteries all charged up. Everything's good to go, right? Wrong. So first things first, if you got the DJI Mavic Air 2, you're going to have to go and download the DJI Fly app. Go download it and come back. Got it? Good. Now, let's get the drone out, the controller, drone apps, and then DJI Fly. First things first, always turn on the remote first. Then everything's going to start popping up. Confirm your binding account. Put your email and everything in there, and then we're going to activate. And then just click that activate button. Registering to the server. Aircraft is activated. Now you can see that it needs to do some updates. So again, this is why you don't just unpack the drone, charge the batteries and go. But this will happen too when you're out in the field. You might have an update and that's it. All right, so you look here, you've got your battery percentage, Wi-Fi strength, satellites over here on the left, basically if you're allowed to take off from this area or not. But we're here for, so if you tap the three dots on the top right, you can change everything in here to go through it all. So max altitude, 400 feet is 122 meters. So I'll just leave it at that. Max distance, how far away do you want to be able to fly? Auto return home, this obviously always gets adjusted. When you're flying, sit there and try to figure out what is the highest building or highest tree, whatever is around you, and set this to that because you never know the path that it's going to take to come back. Obstacle detection, obviously, have that on if you want it to detect obstacles. If you're trying to fly it through some tight spots, then turn that off or else your drone will just stop. Uh, advanced pilot system, obviously I'm gonna have that on too. Now the compass is normal, IMU is normal. These are the two that we're gonna talk about today. So that IMU, I do wanna calibrate that today. Just got the drone and it's been shipped from trying to do it once and then you only do it again when it asks. So calibrating and here we go. So let's start this process. So I'm just going to base it exactly how it shows on the screen. So it's pointing to the left. We're going to press that start. Now we want the nose of the drone facing the other way and on the side. Now on the other side. Wow, that heat sink on the bottom is really, really hot. Nose up and flat on its head. Put it back in its main position. I don't know why it's doing that. Well, so now I'm going to unfold it again. And that's it. Now, compass calibration, this has to be done outside. You're not going to do this inside. You need to be away from magnets. You need to be away from everything. So we're not going to do that inside until we go fly. All right, so we're back in the menu. If you tap the takeoff permitted area, it's actually really neat. It gives you a pre-flight check. It tells me it's normal. That's good. And again, so you, this is what I was talking about. You see the auto return to home. This is all something you should be looking at every time. Your max altitude, again, you might not need to go this high, so just set it a little bit lower. Maybe you're in a restricted area, but I'm not gonna get into all that because you should already know it, or again, it's been covered. But if you do want that information, comment below and I'll be happy to answer all that. Gimbal calibration, let's go through this now. Well, it's on the level surface. And then about is just about your drone. This is where you can check to see if you have any updates for your firmware or the FlySafe database and everything else. And I've already did all that. So we're good to go. I hope you like that quick tutorial on the, uh, what you need to do before you take off in flight. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, any other questions you have, please comment below and let me know. And then I'll be happy to answer it. Maybe I missed something in here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.